Welcome back, guys, for more Timberborn. And here is our awesome-looking dam. But there is one problem with it. Can you see what it is? Maybe if I maybe if I zoom out a bit. Can you see what it is? A bit more? Can you see what the problem is? It's not big enough. <laughs> You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. I went on Michael Caine then. Right, so, yeah, it's not big enough. It's not even close to being big enough. We're going to build a much, much bigger dam. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's me. There are actually more. There, there, there are several problems with this dam. One thing, it's not properly centred. And it, like, it would look much better if it was properly centred. So I've put in a couple of markers so that I know where to build this new dam where it's actually going to be properly centred. Um, the other problem is that we can't use all the water of this. I mean, we, we actually, we kind of can. Um, but I'm going to do something to kind of mimic being able to do it a, a bit nicer. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Um, let's um, let's start constructing this dam, shall we? So, how's, the, how's this going to work? So, I'm going to have this coming out here, like... Uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five. And then from there, one, two, three, four, five. Um, the, okay, one of the problems... Okay, there are straight-across dams like this. Like the, the Myrna Dam and, and dams like that. But... A lot of dams, especially modern dams, are curved so that they can better withstand the pressure of the water. So we're, we're going to have a bit of a curved dam going on. So let's do one, two, three, four. And then we'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I think we'll do it like that. Yeah, I think we'll do it like that. So what was that? That was one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to have to get rid of this dam. You'll see why in a second. So, from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've left room in the center for my six sluice gates or floodgates. And then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. I've, I'm going to have to get rid of this. This is now in the way. Do you want to see me rip out the dam and flood the entire place? <laughs> Should we do it? Let's do it. It's going to be fun. Let's rip it out. So, I want to rip it out up to there, don't I? Yeah. And that to there. Yes. Okay, fine. Right, shall we um shall we flood the entire place? Cuz there's a there's a fair amount of water there. <laughs> Wonder if it's going to flood Alexandria. I think it probably is. Let's um let's see what happens. Oh, I do like the water physics. But I think this needs to happen a bit faster. Go. Oh, look. And we, these buildings are now flooded. And it's... Is it going to flood Alexandria? Oh, yes, it is. And you see, the buildings don't operate when they're flooded. So a, a lot of people have been saying, oh, can you put the buildings in the water? I'm like, no, you can't. The buildings, buildings will be flooded. Oh, my God. <laughs> the entire place is flooded. But we've got our dams in place. To let the water out so i'm hoping that this won't last too long yeah here we go we've let all the water out okay well the the, the beavers are already getting to this and building it so let's uh, let's put the rest in before they start doing really stupid things so what do i want to do landscaping and levees so we're gonna have this coming out to there oh uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's how I want it. We are going to have a set of floodgates going across there. Okay. I want to be able to use every drop of water. Now, I've had various suggestions about how I can do this. Because before we had like the two layers there. Um, so, yeah, you couldn't use the bottom two layers of water. Um, this is going to be kind of a kludge, but I, it'll look cool. So who cares, you know? What are we what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple of levees across there. And then we're gonna have a couple of levees going across there. And then a couple more levees going across there, like that. And then we're gonna have triple floodgates on there like this, and triple floodgates on there like that. Okay. You see where this is going? I think you probably can. Right, so then we'll build that up to there. I want it up to the roof height. Yeah, there we go. And then same with this one, up to there. And then 
this one's going to be up to there. Okay, cool. And then we'll put in kind of a block there and a block there just to make it look nice. All right. All right, looking good. Looking good. So, same on this side. Now, what's going to happen is when the water is up at this height, it'll be controlled by these floodgates and they'll let it flow down into this kind of little reservoir and then down into this little reservoir and then we'll let it flood out. When we get down below the floodgates up here, what we can do is just demolish these center two sections. Then we can control it with these. And then we do the same thing. When it gets below those floodgates, we demolish the two center ones and then we can control it with these down to the last drop of water. And then when the dry season's over, we just rebuild those two center sections and then we've got it. So yeah, it's a bit of a clutch, but, but it's gonna look cool. And it, it means I can build an even bigger dam. And you know, at the end of the day, that's the whole point. It's, it's, it's not really about function. It's about form. So uh, let's get this whole thing up there and we'll see what this actually looks like. Because I'm thinking it should, it should look fairly impressive, I think. So let's do what do we want? I gotta say, there's quite a lot of this to build. Because this goes up to quite the height. And all the way up to there. My god. This is gonna take some building. Now, this is gonna present us with all kinds of problems. Because this is much bigger. I mean, this is what, two and a half times as big as the previous one? like in terms of materials and stuff. In fact, it's probably slightly bigger than that. It might even be three times. Um, yeah, I'm thinking yeah, thinking about it. It's, it's got to be like three times as big. Uh, we're going to need uh, more workers to get it done in a reasonable amount of time. We're going to need a lot more of a lot more materials. So we're going we're to have some other things to deal with around the place. Let's get rid of that path from there. Yes. And then uh, landscaping levees and go oh now i've got to get rid of this path as well go away thank you levies so that's going to go one two three yeah yeah that's what we want now this is a dam right God, it, it, it takes a while just to put the blooming sections in doesn't it so that's supposed to be uh that's a that's supposed to be twos across there, isn't it? Yeah. And then we need to rebuild this section that I knocked down inadvertently. And then I've got to get rid of those paths. Um, demolish tool. Delete. Just grab the path. Yes. And then uh, I've got to get rid of that path there, haven't I? Yes. Oh, this just works. This just works. What do we want? Levies. More levies. Can't have enough levies. One, two, and three. Okay, so that is what it's going to look like when it's eventually completely built. So I am going to have to um, redo this whole front part, and uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm actually going to have to redo a lot of things. Right, let's go. Let's go over here while they're kind of getting on with that. This area over here, I realised that flooding this area is really dumb like really dumb so we're not going to do that anymore what we're going to do i'm going to get my demolish tool delete buildings we're going to get rid of that don't want that um what we're going to do instead is dynamite this layer and then we've got a massive area of farmland i never really meant this for this um, this colony to be a permanent thing which is why i never built houses for them but now we're going to have to do that so Oh, uh, we want some dynamite, please. Dynamite. And we are going to have dynamite. All over. All over here. We're going to dynamite the whole lot. Um, back to... I think probably... Um, any reason why I shouldn't dynamite that layer? In fact, any reason why I shouldn't dynamite that layer? Not really. Okay, the drought has ended. So, beavers, you better get building, um, like, pretty darn quick. You just know some stupid beaver's going to get himself trapped in here and die, don't you? Okay, it's all done. I had to put a path through here 
to get all the dynamite laid and then backfill it. But it's all done now. Should <laughs> we blow it up? Go on. <laughs> I cannot wait to blow this up. It's the best way to look at it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I didn't get the last one. We missed one. <laughs> oh my God, how much fun is this game? It's crazy. Okay, so this is now going to be virtually all farmable. There might be one or two. I think this will actually still be farmable. But what I could do, and what I should do, is actually move this dam back to the... Uh, well, it's actually a levy, not a dam. So I will move this, uh, we'll move this levy back here. Because we want every scrap of ground, don't we? Yeah, of course we do. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I, I'm thinking probably we'll have a path. Oh, I know. I know how we'll do this. I know how we'll do this. We'll do this based on beehives. Yeah, we'll do this based on beehives. Food, beehive. So we, we're gonna want a beehive there. And a beehive there. And a beehive there. And a beehive there. Okay, perfect. So then we'll want another one. That's one, two, three, isn't it? So. If I have a path coming along like uh, that, and then that needs to come down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, to there. So if we have the path coming across there, then we can put the farmers in going like one, two, three. Yeah, so let's see, beehives again. More beehives. What do we want? We want beehive. Oh, that's blooming put. I couldn't have, how did I manage to do that? Like, seriously, how did I manage to do that? Uh, we will put in a set of stairs. This is going very well, guys. This is unlike me. We'll have a set of stairs going there. Uh, we need these trees cut down. You, get to work faster. I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to wait for him. I'm not going to wait for him. And we've got billions of trees, so it's not a problem. So we'll mark those for demolition. So we'll have a path coming down there. That's perfect. Which means... Then I'm going to be able to get rid of this path. Oh, yeah. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? So we'll get rid of that path coming down there. Yes. So we're going to have beehive there and beehive there. Oh, we've got a bit of land and I didn't blow up. Okay, well, we'll get that dynamited. There we go. You know what? If I put that one in there for now, um, we would want, let's see, beehives, more beehives. We would want beehives going up here, wouldn't we, really? To make best use of it. Yeah. So, I don't, maybe I could, ah, I know, I know how I can do it. I figured it out. So, instead, I, I was going to put farmhouses like that, right? But if I put a farmhouse like that, then I'll be able to put beehives going behind them. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we can put one in there. And we can put one there. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. So, we've got a whole bunch of farmhouses going in. Right, so that's that. Next. Next, we need some living accommodation, don't we? Yeah, we do. Right. I think we'll have some nice, um, some nice cliffside accommodations. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit more dynamiting. Let's dynamite that and that. Okay, dynamite's ready. Time to go boom. <laughs> God. It's so much fun. Right, what are we going to do now? We're going to do, I'm going to do this row as well. <laughs> it's just too good. Okay, so what I want to do here is have some uh, some high-rise housing how are we going to do that so we'll take a triple lodge and we'll have a triple lodge going there and then we'll have another triple lodge going there and then we'll have another triple lodge going there and now these are six each aren't they so that's 24 i think we'll probably go up again 36. Ah, what, like, what that? Let's, if you're gonna do it, like, do it, right? So, something like that. Yeah, we might even, uh, I might even expand it out a little bit, but we'll see. 
So, um, well, how are you going to get to those then, Sky? Because that doesn't seem doable. Okay, well, this is how you do it. We're going to put in uh, a, some stairs going there. And then we'll have a platform there, there, and there. And then we'll have a double platform going there and there. Yep. And uh, there. Yes. <laughs> God, it's confusing this. Right, so then I want a path that goes like that and like that. Oh, no, not like that. No, that one's in the wrong place. There we go. And then we have a set of stairs that goes, flip you around like that, set of stairs that goes there. And we have the path going there, there. And then, that, that's the right place, isn't it? Yes. Then we have a set of stairs that go on there. And then we'll have double platform there, there. Now you probably think, well, that's as high as you can go. No, because you can put it on top of the stairs like that. So now we can keep going. So we have path goes there and there so they can get into their houses. And then we get double platform again. So we're going to have stairs there, aren't we? So boom, boom. And boom. Yeah, that's right. So we need stairs flipped around there. Then we have path goes like that. Stairs go there. And we have another double. Boom, boom. Now, is that is that all the way? Nope. Got another level to do. So we'll have path across there. We want a double there. We want stairs going up there. Double, double, double. The other stairs go there. Path across there. <laughs> awesome, isn't it? And there and there, that's great. We will put in the path. That, now that allows them to get to all of the apartments and that's great, all right? But it's not great enough, I don't think. Let's give them, what do we want? Uh, if we have a look in leisure, how about rooftop terraces? Should we have rooftop? Yeah, let's give them a couple of rooftop terraces like that. Now, I do want them to be able to get out at this level. So, what I'm going to do, let's have a look. Uh, what do I want? I want, uh, let's get my triple platforms. Let's do triple there, triple there. And then I just want a double, don't I, I think? I think I just want a double. Uh, oh, no, I only need a single, actually. Okay, fine. So, we'll go single, single. And then we can put uh, path on there. Uh, oh, but we, we can't get to that path from that height. Okay, well, that's, that's not a problem. We can uh, take out that path and take out that path. Uh, not path, path. There we go. Yes. And we'll put in stairs instead. So we'll have stairs going up to there. Oh, you know what I can do? I can have stairs going up to that level. I uh, didn't want to put those in. <laughs> I can have stairs going up to that level. He said, trying to maintain his level of excitement. Take that one out and have stairs going down to that level for maximum efficiency. Oh, I like that. That's quite cool. Right, beavers. You can get on and build that. Now, I might put... Um, I might put some other stuff on the sides or whatever, but we'll we'll kind of see for now. First, let's get that built. Now, that's going to house how many? What did I say? Like 48 beavers? Um, so, yeah, we're going to have plenty of beavers for this project, and they can have babies and whatever. So, I think I just need to get rid of this blooming tree so I can put a path in here. There's no reason why we can't, uh, we can't plant this up as soon as we get enough people in here. Right, how are we doing on the dam? And my God, the dam is flying along. I can't believe how much they've done already. That is incredible. Okay, well, I think, um, I don't know about you, but I'm in the mood for a little bit of time-lapse action.
Okay, now that is high-rise beaver living at its finest. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, a couple of things that we need to do, and then we can just focus on the dam. So, uh, we need them to be able to grill their own potatoes. So, let's put in a grill. I think, you know what, if we pop it in there, yeah, this is going to work. If we pop that in there, and then we have, uh, we have some stairs just popping down there like that, and put in a little path across. That's kind of perfect. Actually... Do I want them to have access around? You know what? I think what we'll do, instead of doing that, I'll put in a platform first, and then we'll have the stairs going down, because then I can route this path around here if I want to. I don't know whether I want to, but uh, we'll do it like that. And then let's get some farming going, shall we? So I'm thinking loads and loads and loads of food. So what do we want? Uh, we want crops. We want, we'll have some carrots going on. So maybe we'll do like carrots in that area. And then we want potatoes going on. So let's do potatoes in that area there. We'll maybe do um, more potatoes in this area up here. And that should do us for now while they finish clearing these trees out and then I'll, I'll fill the rest in. Maybe, maybe we'll even get onto wheat. Maybe I'll, yeah, in fact, maybe I'll save that area for doing wheat. That sounds like a good plan. Right, they have already done, like, a fair bit of work on this, and we're getting, we're getting plenty of stranded beavers. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's their own fault. They shouldn't do it. Oh, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let them get on with it. Let's get back to the old time lapse. And there it is, all completed in its glory. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, there's still a huge amount of work to do. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take out this bit of scaffolding because it's, <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Uh, well, well, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my delete building. So I want to get rid of all of that. Good. And I want to get rid of this little bit of water is bugging me down here so we're going to get rid of that as well so the easiest way is to just get rid of that levee there let that water drain out so i had a few surprises for you so we've got this um we've got this staircase and path and scaffolding going up the back to allow them to uh, full access to this and then we've got bridges across the top two tiers and we've got a staircase to allow us to get in. So this means that if I want to, if I want to demolish uh, this section or this section, that we can rebuild them really easily. So um, I think we should probably see what this looks like, don't you think? I think we should. Uh, I think we should. We should see what this looks like when we open up the floodgates. So over here, I've removed the dam over here because it was flooding all of the farms. So that's gone. The drought has just started. So let's do it what do we want to do uh let's unsynchronize the four on the outside okay and then the two on the inside i'm thinking i'm gonna to have to drop this a fair way to get the water to come through oh there you go we have water coming through and that fills up and floods out 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that is awesome. We'll do the same with this, actually. We'll desynchronize that one and that one. And we can drop that down to allow water out. And I tell you what, let's do the same with this. So we'll desynchronize the outside four. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's um, let's take those up to height three, so that we've just got it coming through those two. There we go. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> that looks so good. Okay. We have got an enormous amount of work to do in the next episode. Um, I'm going to have to do... I'm going to do some terrain manipulation. We're going to blow up some of this area over here so that we can kind of even it out. We will um, replace the water wheels or move the water wheels so that they're central again. We'll build up a platform outside. Uh, I'm going to have to put all the industry in. Okay, that's that. I've got to build up this this dam over here to match the height of this dam so we can actually retain all of the water. And then I need to set up another colony somewhere over here and we've got to build a dam across this area. And I am I'm having ideas about what I might do uh, in terms of like maybe building a sluice down here or something. I don't know. If you've got ideas, leave me a comment. But if you want to see any of that stuff, yes you'll have to come back for the next episode guys we'll leave it there thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it keep the comments coming and i'll catch you for the next one peace out